Hey, today we are going to discuss how to set up Shopify notifications. Now you may wonder why it is that important. In a nutshell, setting up email and SMS notifications in Shopify is crucial for one simple reason, and that is keeping you and your customers informed and engaged. But if you do not set up email and SMS notifications correctly, it can lead to a various negative outcomes. So while it may seem easy, it's important to proceed with care and ensure accuracy. But you do not need to worry because I am here to assist you. This is Tajid, your host for today's video. In this video, I will share each and everything that you need to know to set up your Shopify notification. So let's get started. For every item that happens inside Shopify where you communicate with your client, for example, an order or fulfillment get processed, there are notifications set up that seller will get notified when such things happen. So let's see from where we can get started. From the Shopify dashboard, go down and click on settings. You can find the notifications tab from there. Just keep in mind that none of the default notifications inside Shopify can turn off from the dashboard. So if you are using any third party app and they do not have any way of checking off notifications through the API, then they are going to receive two notifications in that case. You have to make sure that all the notifications that you set up are the priority ones inside the shop. If a notification is set up inside Shopify and you are using a third party app, then you have to turn off the third party app notification because you cannot turn off the Shopify notification. So it is important to know where to go and customize the notifications. You can find all the notification customization parts on the notification tab. First of all, you have to go and customize to the email templates. Click on the customize email templates button. You are going to see an example of what the notification is going to look like before it gets sent out now. You will notice a couple of options on the right hand side. You can choose your logo, change your logo width and change your accent color. After changing all the choices, save the notification. Now for the most part, that's all the customization that you have inside Shopify in order to change your colors and logos to make the email match your brand. For most person, that's enough. But what if you wanted to change the content inside? Maybe a map of your store if you are doing in-store pickups, or maybe you wanted to add customer service phone number. If you wanted to do that, you would head back to the notifications. And on the right hand side, here is all the notifications are. Now I am going to warn you that when we go into notifications, it's going to be little overwhelming at first. And the reason it's overwhelming is that it's going to be a mix up of liquid code and a mixture of HTML code. And I will try and explain how liquid code works for you as we go through. So if we have a look here at dashboard, we have two tabs that start off at the top, email and SMS. For the time being, Let's just work on the SMS side and then we'll switch over to the email. And then you can have a look at how that comes together. At first, click on SMS. You can preview here how the order confirmation message will display. Order confirmation SMS notifications cannot be edited. Customer name, order number and other specific details will automatically update with the correct information. Correct information to optimize order confirmation SMS. You can find some apps on the Shopify app store for this. Now, when you are in an email, you need to be able to build the HTML with your liquid code. If you are not comfortable doing HTML code, you want to be able to do it in editor that first puts the code and then it swaps out the variables. The other thing to keep in mind is that in your email notification, it says that asset notification style are in place where all the style are being stored. There's no way to access them because you cannot get to them through the themes. So all of your styles are inside your email notifications. In this case, you have to use inline styles. 
So anything that you are going to be ready write inside your email has to be in inline style. This is a limitation of email browsers that shows your emails that are 10 years old. So you have to use technology that is quite a bit older in order to be competitive. All right, so that is the basic overview of what notifications that you will do with your customers. You have got orders and shipping customer templates. Templates are the notifications that get sent to you. So they get sent to any of the customers that are set up down below. You can enable desktop notifications and that will enable you to get notifications when things happen. And then finally, you have to web logs and web hooks. That's all for today. I think you get a better understanding of Shopify notifications. If you need any assistance, please comment below or you can email us at info at the rate with this video reference. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, see you soon.